Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On Thursday last week, I was stood at Indianapolis watching Hyperpole as the number 6 Porsche 963 driven by Kevin Estra overtook an LMP2 into the corner, sacrificing his line and somehow still got pole. It was absolutely incredible and it got me thinking, how hard must he have been pushing? Today, I thought I'd find out. This is the new Race Sim Studios ProTech P96. After months of teasers and production, Racing Studios finally released this car and the timing could not be more perfect. On top of that, a reputable modder by the name of Fenrir recently released a pretty damn good version of the Le Mans circuit on his Patreon. So with these two mods, let's see just how close we can get to Kevin Estra's pole lap. Also, if you want these mods, check the description. I've linked where you can find them and purchase them. So then, here we are in the Porsche 963 by Racing Studios at Fenrir's rendition of Le Mans. We're going to put our hybrid release mode on build. There we go. So that we don't really use any on this outlap. We'll get ourselves out on the circuit. Right. I'll take it easy on this outlap, but I do have a tendency to push even though I don't need to. So whilst we're on this very long straight, I've got a couple talking points. So firstly, you may notice that the sun's setting and it's, uh, it's, it's getting fairly dark. So we actually brought our headlights, that makes sense. But that is because when we were there at Indy, I was taking photos, obviously, of everything going on. And um, with those photos, I was able to get the exact time that Kevin Estra drove this lap. And that time was 9.13 p.m. So that is exactly what I put into the sim on the exact same date as well. So hopefully the conditions are fairly similar uh, and at least representative to make this fair. Another thing is I have tried out this car and tested it quite a bit prior to making this recording, but not yet have I set a time anywhere near what Kevin Estra did in quali. And I still don't fully feel like I'm, I, I don't feel like I have a good grasp on this car yet. So we're still learning. I will say though, it feels amazing. It looks amazing and it sounds amazing. All right, so here we go to start our first lap. I'm gonna put our hybrid release mode up to high. Ooh, getting a bit loose. There we are, map four, which is the high one. Shouldn't drain all of the hybrid in one lap, but it will use it quite extensively. So into the Dunlop curve, through the Dunlop chicane. Getting a little bit light on the exit. I'm gonna go too wide there because this car really doesn't like the curbs. Here we are onto the boss hand straight. We'll up our hybrid to full. We get that top speed. And then we'll lower it again before we break. Definitely a bit loose on the brakes there. Oof. <laughs> oh, complete! I just—that was the biggest tank slapper I've ever had. Holy moly! All right. So now we are heading in to another attempt. This time, let's not bin it through the forge canes. Getting a bit loose on the exit again. I think that's just a feature of the curves there, although a little bit dodgy. Up to six. Swing it in, flat out, breaking a straight line. Use that curb. Use that curb. Careful on the throttle. It's all the exit. That's 
fifth. Down two gears, third. A little bit tucked in. Be aware the car will go light here, so. Yep. It's fourth. Bring it round up, Rouge. Not too bad, pretty smooth. I must say, I have not studied any laps. Like, I've obviously watched Kevin Escher's lap, but I didn't study it. I don't know what gears he was in where. I don't know any of that. I'm just driving based off of what I do know about the circuit and how to drive it. So, if I'm doing any of it wrong, do let me know. Oh, we're going to get an off-track here. We didn't. I'll take it. Although, I think my exit was a little slow. We'll make a bit more use of that hybrid system here on the straight. That top speed going. Seventh gear. No. Just ever slight, ever so slightly too late on the brakes. All right, we're gonna set our hybrid back to build. Let that regenerate. Try again next lap. Ooh. I have very little trust in almost every single car up here. No! Ah! Oof. Yeah, we blew our engine. So as you can probably tell, this is quite bloody difficult. <laughs> I've learned that you really have to be so delicate on the power. Because while it doesn't kick instantly, it sort of picks up really suddenly. It can catch you off guard for sure. Oh, and there's that dodgy curb. Oh, brother, this guy st Oh, my God, for f
after a very roughly thrown together lap there with an off track at the end um, and overall just a, a sloppy sort of lap I think we've got a 332 so uh, I think we have a lot of work to do now I'm going to see if I can use full hybrid release for an entire lap or if it will run out before the lap ends. It definitely won't last till the end so I'm going to notch it down a little bit just for a minute. A little bit shaky there. We do regen a little bit in each braking zone. Back to full release as we come towards the Porsche curves. We're going to drop it back down. We don't want to enter them too quickly. This should be flat. Yep. Back off a little bit. Down to fourth. Slight break there just to get it in. Got speed up. Back down. Don't want to send it too hard through each games. Over the last two. What is it? A 331. That's what, still six seconds off him? Ow. <laughs> I think we need to just focus up for a minute and see if we can get even remotely close. I think I'll be happy with a 328. So for this lap, I've reduced our fuel to literally only cover just one lap. Making the car a little bit lighter, therefore a little bit quicker. And again, we'll try to use as much hybrid as possible. My lines there is definitely horrendous, but I'm so utterly terrified. All I care about is just getting the car slowed down. Back up to full release. Charging towards Porsche curves. Patient. And then on full throttle. Power through, back off a bit. Down to fourth. Get it turned in. Patient here. Nice. Back up to full release, using that final bit of hybrid. Gonna be absolutely flying into the Forge Canes now. Okay, and we cross the line, it's a 3.29.6. So about half a second quicker. This is starting to look quite impossible. Right then, now we're back. Now you may notice that my t-shirt has changed. That is because we are now actually in the next day because I ate so much Chinese food last night that I just fell asleep and forgot about the video. <laughs> also woke up feeling a little bit ill today, so I'm actually doubting my performance a little bit here, but we're still gonna see what we can do and just have a little bit of fun. Oh my lord. That curb really needs fixing. That just blew my engine up.
that felt pretty quick. Okay, that's another tenth up. That felt pretty quick, but we only get a tenth. I still need to somehow find five seconds. How? <laughs> With this challenge seeming impossible, I thought I'd give it one last try. and him so well controlled there. Unbelievable stuff. Now into the next left and right. Get the rear in check once again. That's usually where the rear goes light. Then you've got Tetra Rouge coming up. Turn seven. Get the curb on the inside. Then use everything you've got on the outside. Keep it within track limits. Perfectly done there. to the left hand side eventually you'll see some blue signs coming up they're the braking marker boards here we go here they are 200 meters 100 meters coming up stand on the brake pedal get the curb on the right hand side down into second gear flick the car left use all the track on the right hand side track limits don't count for that one because you've got to grab the track and curb on the right hand side as late as you can. Send the car into the corner. You can see the rear wrestling the whole way through. That right hand up. Up and over the crest we go to Mulsanne Corner. The right hand kink comes at you. You break just as you go into that kink. the curves to the left then the right slow it all down for the next left and right the rear almost got away from him there what a lap oh holy shit 327.2 just pulled out two seconds out of nowhere that's not too bad honestly i'm quite happy with that but overall that was pretty damn good Still three seconds off Kevin Estra, but I mean, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. So then, with that, I think we'll call the video there. After many, many failed tries, we got ourselves a three minute, 27.2 second lap. Had I kept going and kept pushing, 
I feel like I definitely could have beaten this, maybe got into the 26s, but no part of me thinks I could get 324 that Kevin Estra did in Hyperbowl. I did everything I could to try and make this realistic and I still am three seconds off. So that's just how hard he was pushing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you enjoyed watching me race in VR for once rather than on the screen. Let me know what you think of that. I don't really do VR much, but it is an option that I have. And if you enjoyed it, then I'll do it some more. If you did enjoy it, please do be sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below to let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one.